Why, Lassie, I think you have eyes in the back of your head. Lassie, you lie down. My name is Carter, Mrs. Martin. Roger J. Carter. Oh, yes, no. we were just, um... Yes, <laughs> so I saw. Uh, this is Lassie, huh? Eh? Uh, yes. Uh, this is my son, Timmy, and his friend, Boomer. Hi. Hi. And uh, that's Mike. Uh, well, now, let me look at you, miss. <laughs> Ever see... That dog before? <laughs> it looks just like Lassie. Look at all those cups and ribbons. Yeah. That dog was the Tartan Queen. But they could be twins. <laughs> the Tartan strain of collies won every major dog show in the States for 15 years. <laughs> and then. One misfortune followed another until the tartan strain disappeared. Champion tartan queen was the last to go. I'd just about given up hope of finding any of her line when I heard about Lassie. Oh, but Mr. Carter, Lassie's not for sale. Oh, please. Please, uh, hear me out. If Lassie's a tartan, I can revive the strain. You mean Lassie would be a show dog and win blue ribbons? Blue ribbons? She could become national champion. Maybe even international. Did you hear that, Boomer? Yeah. Mr. Carter, Lassie can't be a show dog. We have no papers for her. Oh. Well, Mrs. Martin, if Lassie's ancestry is traceable, I can do it. Meantime, may I give her a look over? Well, yes, I guess so. Uh -huh. She's a tartan, all right. Mr. Carter, this is a working farm. And Lassie's really a working dog. Mrs. Martin, if you have any idea what this will mean. Well, I do. I know it'll take a lot of time that we don't have. I have, Mom. Oh, Timmy, it takes a lot of work. You bet it is. For you and Lassie, too. We don't care, do we, girl? You want to be like the Tartan Queen, don't you? See? Lassie wants to be like the Tartan Queen. Please, Mom, please let us. Well, all right, if you'll really work at it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Barton. You've made me very happy. What do Lassie and I have to do, Mr. Carter? Well, she has to be groomed constantly so that every hair falls into place naturally. A coat must have that special shine that only regular grooming can give it. And she must stay close to the house. We can't risk thorns or burrs. And we don't want any bruises or cuts on her paws. So it's no more work or digging for her. You know, it's a big responsibility, getting a dog into condition. Here, you can have this picture of the queen to go by. Gee, thanks. I can do it. You're beautiful, Lassie. 
I bet you're beautiful as the Tartan Queen. <laughs> She starts winning those blue ribbons. That'll be fun. Yeah. Go over to the porch. Go on. Ready? Go ahead. Roll it. Did you see that, Mrs. Martin? Did you see what Mike did? Yes, I, I saw a boomer. You should be very proud of him. I sure am. Look at poor Lassie. Timmy, Lassie's a work dog. Not anymore, Mom. She's gonna be the champion of the whole United States. Don't you count your chickens before they're hatched. Mr. Carter told me. I should have been more firm with Mr. Carter. And with you. Lassie, remember about your paw? But that's where she hides her favorite bone. How'd you like if no one ever let you do anything? This isn't the same. Oh, no, you don't. That's no fair. Mike's doing all the things Lassie's not allowed. What's wrong with that? Well, he's just making Lassie feel awful. Gosh, Mike was only trying to help. If Lassie can't do it, someone has to. I don't want him to make Lassie feel bad. 
Mike can't play here, I can't either. I didn't say that. You didn't have to say that. Boomer was awfully proud of Mike. Well, Mike doesn't have to show off. Just because he knows Lassie can't do any work. I don't think Boomer sees it that way. Come on, Lassie. Mm -hmm. Gosh, your hands are getting as soft as Mom's. for Lassie. I bet Lassie's lonesome, too. I put your bike in the barn so it wouldn't get rusty. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks a lot. I sure wish Lassie could play with Mike. You mean she still can't? No. But it's not Mike's fault, Boomer. Of course it isn't. It's yours. That's what it is. I'm counting stitches, dear. Now, I knew something was missing. I've been trying to figure out what it is for a week. What, do we owe money? Well, no, no. It's Boomer and that dog of his. I haven't tripped over them for days. Well, did the boys have a fight? Well, um, not exactly. Is Mike jealous over Lassie's new look? <laughs> I think it goes deeper than that. Oh. And we'll fill a whole room with blue ribbons and gold cups. You'll get to be national champion. Maybe even world champion. The whole world will be proud of you. Even Boomer and Mike. Hi, Dad. That's true, isn't it? Well, it could be, I suppose. Trouble is, when a person gets to the top of the heap, it can be mighty lonesome up there. Being a champ is the best, isn't it? Sure. But there can only be one champ at a time. The trouble is, it's so lonesome. And we're not even at the top yet. <laughs> well, whatever you do, it'll have to be your decision. Oh. Well, I think the whole world ought to know what a swell dog Lassie is. You know something? It takes courage to stand by your principles and courage to change. I think you'll figure it out. Nothing to worry about. Paul Martin, you tell me what Timmy said. Oh, that's what you want to know. You know, he's so ambitious for Lassie, there's no holding him. If I had been more firm with Mr. Carter, Timmy and Lassie wouldn't be in this predicament. Suppose they do find some papers on her. Suppose they don't. Yes, but if they did, how are we going to put Lassie on the show dog circuit? Yeah, that would be a stumbling block. But let's not stumble over it until it's there to stumble over. <laughs> Sounds just like Uncle Petrie. He's my uncle, isn't he?
say Mike's lost? Yes, ma'am. Ever since last night. I've got to help Boomer find him. I bet Lassie could find him. She can't come. Go back on the porch. Go on. I'll find Mike by myself. I'll help you. I know what I'd do if my best friend was in danger. Yes, I know what I'd do, but you have to make up your own mind. Yet, Boomer, or her bed someplace. Let's look again. Here, Mike! Here, Mike! We're never going to find him. Something happened to you, or you'd run away. Come on, Lassie. Come on. Lassie can't read. I guess she's just naturally smart. Isn't she swell, boy? I'll say. Come on. Let's take the shortcut home so we can tell Mom. We'll have to wait across the creek. Who cares? Paul Martin, Mr. Carter. Glad to know you, Martin. Mrs. Martin. Is, uh, is Timmy around, or Lassie? Oh, uh, well, no, uh, n not at the moment. Seems that Lassie had an urgent errand. Well, uh, I'd rather break the news to you first. I have disappointing news. I'm finding it rather hard to tell you. Lassie's pedigree can't be traced. Oh. I've tried every avenue. 
Obviously, she's an aristocrat, but fate has it that her ancestry must remain a mystery. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Mama! Look at that dog. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Carter. I had Lassie looking better than the Tartan Queen. Till today, that is. Timmy, Mr. Carter has something to say to you. But I have to tell him first, Mom. Mr. Carter, Lassie got lonely and unhappy before she got to the top of the heap. Eh? What's that? Well, then I decided not to make her the world's champion. I wanted her to be the world's champion pet. <laughs> it's just as well, because in tracing her pedigree, I... <clears throat> well, I... Uh... You know, you've put me to a lot of unnecessary work, don't you? Yes, sir. But <laughs> I can't make you sure. After all, Lassie's your dog. Lassie saved Mike's life. She dug a tunnel down to where he was stuck. She sure did, just like in the papers. Now, that's a collie for you. She had a real good time getting dirty on the way back. Uh, goodbye, girlie. <laughs> goodbye. It's been a gratifying experience, no matter what the outcome. Hi, Mr. Carter. And uh, thanks. Bye, everybody, and good luck. I'm glad Mr. Carter wasn't mad at me. Well, I guess he saw that your mind was really made up. It sure was. You should have seen Lassie. She trailed Mike to an old shack and dug a great big tunnel to where he was stuck. <laughs>